This video will show you how to add a signature in Outlook in the easiest and least technical way possible. By the end of this video, you will have a beautiful signature like this one, with your image or logo, clickable links to your website, social media icons, and more cool things like an Instagram gallery, banner, or YouTube video thumbnail. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to manually create an Outlook signature, but the setup is pretty complicated and the outcomes don't really look professional. So instead of taking you on a tedious technical walkthrough for manual setup, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful Outlook signature in just two to three minutes by using the Ystamp Outlook Signature Creator. I'm Leslie from Ystamp. Let's start making your signature. When you open Ystamp, the first thing you see is the Details tab, where you can enter your personal and professional information. You'll need to add your name and your job title to create a signature, but the rest of the fields like company name, phone number, and email address are optional. After adding your details, it's time to add your signature image. Click here to upload an image from your computer. You can also add an image from a URL, Facebook, or Instagram. Maybe you need to add an image and your company logo. In that case, click on this Add Image link to get an option for adding a second image. Another option that I really like is adding both an image and a logo as animation with our Animate tool. If you add a logo here, you can choose one of four transition effects to switch between image and logo. But this feature requires a paid subscription, so take this into consideration. On the right-hand panel, you can see how the signature is already taking form. The next step is to add social media icons and links. To do that, let's jump over to the Social tab. Here, you can very easily add your social media links, and they will automatically be added to your Outlook signature as social media icons. Almost every social media icon that exists is available for you to choose from. You can even find here icons for specialized social media sites, like listing sites for realtors or review sites for lawyers. If you need an icon we don't have yet, you can upload your own right here. Next up, we move over to the Template tab to choose an Outlook signature template. Ystamp currently has a few free templates and many more paid templates. Something I want to point out about Outlook Signature templates is that a lot of the templates you see on YouTube videos for creating Outlook signatures will break on different screens, browsers, and devices. The signatures you make manually from these videos may not look the way you expect them to look when your recipients view your emails. This may happen more often than you'd think. I'm telling you this because all of the templates you see here are tested and validated on all devices and screen sizes. They will always show and will never break. If you've ever had problems like this, or you've experienced other problems, tell me about it in the comments section below, and maybe I could offer some good advice. The next step in making your signature is the Design tab. This is where you can tailor the signature design to your specific taste and preferences. This step is optional, since it's currently only open to paid subscribers. If you don't need to customize your signature design, just jump ahead to the next step where you can choose apps and add-ons to add to your signature. Let me show you what you can do in the Design tab. Under Font and Color, you can choose your signature font out of 10 web-safe fonts. These are fonts that will work on every browser and device. You can also set your font size, your template text spacing, and your template color. Under Images, you can change your signature image shape and size. And there's a very useful option to add a link to your image. Under Details, you can play around with your signature labels you get to decide whether you want a text, letter, or icon label. I personally really like the icons options, which include a few alternatives for each label type. Turn this switch on to match the color of your labels with your template color. Under social icons, you can set the size, shape, and style of your icons, and also match the color of your icons with your template color. Under Decorative Line, you can control the size, color, and visibility of the Signature Separator line. You can match its color to your template color, and you can also remove the line completely. You can see how the Design tab lets you make a beautiful Outlook signature, down to the finest details. In my opinion, this gives you an outcome that looks better than you'd get if you paid for a professional designer to design and code your signature for you. Do you agree with me? Tell me your opinion in the comment section. The last step we have to go over is the Ystamp Signature App Library and see if there is anything we can use to reach personal, professional, or business goals. There are a lot of options here to choose from and more apps are being added constantly. 
You can add a handwritten sign-off, an email disclaimer, your Instagram gallery, a green footer, a YouTube video thumbnail, a custom button, and that's not even half of it. Feel free to explore them all and find the right app to fit your business needs. Now we can go on and set up the signature in Outlook. When you're ready, click on the OK I'm Done button. This is a required step, so Ystamp knows in which email account to install your signature. After signing up, you just have to choose where you want Ystamp to set up your signature. Either the Outlook desktop app or the Outlook 365 web app. Select the option you prefer, and we'll take it from there. To find the Ystamp Outlook Signature Creator, I left you a link at the end of this video, and also in the description box down below. Have fun creating your signature. If you found this video useful, feel free to give us a thumbs up. And for more videos on how to promote your professional or business goals, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.